to One Kitchen. I'm Julia. So today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious pulled pork and cheese panini. So let's get started. So what I'm going to use for these paninis here is some tibeta bread. I have just bought some tibeta bread because I like the size of it and the taste of it. And then I'm going to use some shredded mozzarella cheese. You can just use whatever cheese you have. And then some thinly sliced onion. And here I have some pulled pork. I have already showed you in here before on how to make a delicious pulled pork. This here is a portion that I have placed in the freezer back then. Back then, it was not a long time ago since I made it. Um, but it is just so easy to make a big portion of pulled pork and just freeze down and take up whenever you need it. So that is what I have done today and the link for my pulled pork video is down below in my description. And then I'm also going to use some butter and here I also have some crushed garlic. And I'm just going to melt that down in my microwave. So first step is quickly to melt down my butter and mix it together with the garlic that is in here. So when that is melted, I will return. So my butter here is now melted and I am just going to take a brush and just brush some of this garlic butter on top of my bread here. This is just going to give an amazing flavor. It's just super, super yummy. And you just decide how much garlic butter you want in there and how much garlic and stuff like that. And you can also just completely leave it out. That is up to you. But now I am just going to add some pulled pork to my bread here. Just really place a good portion on there. I just love homemade pulled pork. And sometimes when it is on sale, you can actually get it very cheap. So that is just a great, great thing. And just freeze it down, like I said before. That is just so, so good. I think that is it here. And then just on with some shredded cheddar, shredded cheddar cheese. And then some on with some shredded mozzarella cheese. Just on top here, just push it down just a little bit, like that. And then on with some thinly sliced onion. You can pretty much just add in whatever you like into this panini here. It is just an easy lunch or dinner. And now I'm just going to place this here on top. And then all I have to do now is to turn on for my panini grill and after that I will it. So my machine is now ready and I'm just going to spray it with my baking spray first and then I'm going to add in my bread and just cook it in there until it is nice and crispy and done and then it is ready to be served. So I really hope you enjoyed my pulled pork and cheese paninis and remember that my link to my pulled pork recipe is down below in my description. And if you want to give these a go, just go down in my description and you can find all the ingredients down there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye!